It's completely different to the one in Spain. The one in Spain is the, is the, is the uh, red-legged partridge, and it's a bird of scrub and arid areas. Uh, it will feed on shrubs, uh, seeds, and insects. Usually lays about from one to sixteen eggs, and and it's one of the most popular birds in Gibraltar. And recently, their population was declining on the rock. What do you think caused that? Well, the population, we noticed that the population was steadily going down. And there are many causes for it. One of them, I mean, is that we have a very large population of uh, yellow-legged gulls. Yellow-legged gulls will forage and they will feed on the young partridges. But from that, another problem, obviously, feral cats. And they used to prey as well, as well and do prey on young partridges and, and adult partridges as well. Uh, apart from that, we've got snakes, we've got rats as well that feed on, feed on the eggs. So there's a large variety of predators that do, do feed on them. Recently, though, their numbers have been increasing. I heard that birds were brought over from Morocco. Can you tell me a bit about that? Well, yes, we bought, uh, at first we bought eggs over and those hatched too. We bought 20 eggs over and we hatched 18 and those were released into the wild. Uh, after that, we bought over about roughly 200 birds over from, from Morocco. Obviously, we had to make sure that it was the same species and not introduce another type of partridge. And those were released as well with, uh, with a good uh, success. And they, they actually, that year, they actually bred in the wild, which was very, very good for us. And from then on, we've been, what, we, what we're doing now is that we breed them in captivity. Uh, after that, we place them in small pens all around the rock in different lo- uh, locations and from there it's called the soft release. We provide food and water for them, open the pens in about seven or eight days time. They will wander around the area, uh, forage, but they will come back and feed in those pens. After that, the pens are done away with and they, they then are fully integrated into the wild uh, population. So they're getting on okay then? They're doing fine, yes, thank you. Good to hear. And have you got any advice on um, how to act if you come across the Barbary partridge? Well, if you, obviously if you come by them, the only thing that I can suggest is take pictures, as many pictures as, as, as you want, and let us know where, you, where you've seen them and at what, at what location, because we, we keep monitoring them.